What is up guys, Giants and Amis01 here with another FIFA 17 tutorial. This one's going to be focusing on the ground shot, which has always been the best way to beat a rushing keeper. So if you're on those one-on-one -on -one situations, you're on those breakaways, and you see that the keeper is rushing out at you, trying to stop you, do the ground shot. It's going to go right underneath the keeper and into the back of the net. There's going to be a full breakdown of the ground shot, so we're going to be talking about the controls, how to do it, and when to do it, things that could make the keeper stop it so you gotta keep in mind and of course guys make sure to subscribe before we even get started because there's gonna be so many tutorials and tip videos over the coming months to make you better at FIFA 17 so you want to keep checking back to make sure you're on the top of your game we're gonna start off with the controls for the ground shots very very simple all you have to do is tap the shooting button so on Xbox that's the B button on PlayStation, that's the circle button. You want to have around one bar of power. You can have at a maximum around one and a half bars of power. That's like the maximum. And anything below that is perfect. It does not have to be exactly one bar. It could be less than that. It's just one and a half bars is the maximum. Here we're seeing an example perfectly done right here. You can see it's around one bar of power, a little bit less. And the goalkeeper is rushing out towards me. This is the prime example of when to do the ground shot. As long as the keeper maintains rushing out towards you, you're gonna score more likely than not. Very, very simple shot. You don't need too much reaction time because all you have to do is tap that button. So if you see the keepers rushing at you and a lot of people freak out, don't know what to do, just tap the shooting button. Tap the shooting button. It's going to be a ground shot. It's going to go right underneath him and into the back of the goal more likely than not. All right, guys. So what is the purpose of this ground shot? Like I said before, this shot is meant to beat the rushing keeper. You get those breakaway situations like here with Ben Sim. I'm on a breakaway. The keeper decides to rush out towards me. It's trying to trick me, trying to get me anxious. Perfect time to just apply a little bit of power. Just tap the shooting button. Less than one and a half bars of power. Around one bar of power. And it's just going to go right underneath Neuer. You're going to see that they're going to be diving. And it's just going to go right next to him or right underneath him. And more likely than not, you're going to score the shot. And you're going to be up in the game. Very, very simple shot. Probably one of the easiest shots in the games. You don't have to press anything other than the shooting button. And it's just so deadly. It's always been so deadly in FIFA and FIFA 15 and FIFA 16 and now in FIFA 17 it is back it is the same purpose done the same way and equally effective so definitely definitely if you find yourself in those situations where a lot of people freak out don't know what to do they try to do the far range finesse shot when they get on those one-on-one -on -one situations they try to do a skill move and yes those things could work but it's a lot less likely to work compared to the ground shot. That is the purpose of this shot. There's really no other purpose for this shot. Keep in mind, guys, it doesn't have to be a breakaway situation. It could be you just pass the defenders like here with Hamas, and at the last second, the keeper rushes out at you. Just tap the shooting button. All right, guys, there are some things that are important to know to make the most out of this ground shot. The first thing is that the keeper must be rushing. I already talked about this many times. But even if the keeper stops rushing for a split second, even if he's five meters off the goal and at the last second he just stops rushing right when you take the shot, it's not going to go in. The keeper's going to stop it. So it's very important that he is rushing throughout the whole shot. If at any time he releases the Y button or the triangle button, if you're on PlayStation, he's going to be able to block the shot. Or if he never leaves the goal like you're seeing in some of these examples, it's going to be a very easy save. Second thing is that you must have a good angle if you want to increase your chances. Yes, you can score the ground shot even if you're running directly at the rushing keeper. But if you want to increase your chances of actually scoring it, getting it underneath the goalkeeper, you're going to want to take a slight angle towards the outside to get it underneath the goalkeeper into a gap. As you're seeing here with Lacazette, I want to get a 45 degree angle towards the outside so when the keeper is rushing out at me, I can just slot it in right through there between his arm and the ground and just underneath him into the goal. So if you want to make sure to make it, you find yourself missing sometimes, make sure to get that angle towards the outside. That's going to increase your chances twofold on scoring this. Guys, be aware, this shot goes in a lot, a lot, especially if you get the right angle. You're going to score around like 90% of these shots if he's rushing out at the whole time. Here you can see 
I did not move enough towards the outside. I ran too much straight directly towards the goalkeeper. So when he did rush out towards me, he was able to get a hand on it. Sometimes you'll score this, but it's not as likely. You'll probably score this like 60% of the time, which if you want to increase that, get the right angle. All right, guys, so let's do a comparison compared to FIFA 15 and compared to FIFA 16. In FIFA 15, this was the best move and would go in 95% of the time. It did not matter the angle. It did not matter anything. As long as the goalkeeper was rushing at you, you were going to score almost automatically this shot. FIFA 16, it changed it up a little bit. Now you needed a little bit more of an angle. Now, sometimes it would be randomly he would save it no matter what you did. This one is exactly like this, and FIFA 17 is exactly like FIFA 16. I thought it was more similar towards FIFA 15 at the beginning, but after playing more and more and taking more and more ground shots, it's exactly like FIFA 16. So you're going to score more often than not, especially if you get the right angle, but there's just going to be some times where the keeper is going to stop it no matter what, but it is still the best, the best move to do to beat the Russian keeper, so do not worry about that. Take this shot in those one-on-one -on -one breakaway situations. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and share with all your friends. Click on one of the boxes. Check out some of my other videos, such as tutorials, my top five list, some ultimate team videos, and some formation review slash guys. And, of course, click in the middle to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tutorials or tip videos. Thank you guys so much.